20 headless bodies were found buried in his shop while 16 were found in his garden <laughs> and welcome back to African Crime Story. For this episode, we are going to be taking a little detour to Morocco while we explore the crimes committed by Hajj Mohamed Mesfiwi, or otherwise known as the Marrakesh Ark Killer. Mesfiwi in the 1900s was a cobbler and a scriptwriter. In the year of 1906, the people of Marrakesh began to notice the disappearance of many young girls from the city. Some of the relatives of one of the girls who went missing traced her way back to Mesiwi's shop. That was the last place she was seen. They now confronted Anna, a woman who at the time lived with Mesiwi, tortured her. She now confessed about what transpired between Mesiwi and the girls. These young ladies are said to have come to Mesiwi's shop because they wanted him to detect some letters for them. This is when Anna and Mesiwi would drug these girls and then they will now proceed to rob them and behead them. So after his capture, he now confessed where the buried bodies were. 20 headless bodies were found buried in his shop, while 16 were found in his garden. So Mesui, along with Anna, collaborated to murder 36 girls. Mesui at the time was condemned to crucifixion, which was in accordance of the law of Marrakesh. But luckily for him, some foreign personals were in the land and they opposed this form of punishment as to them they thought it was inhumane so his execution or the way he should be executed was um, postponed but every day Messi would be taken to the marketplace where he would be whipped and tortured in the presence of many people since he was an old man he was probably in his 60s at the time of the incidents he was beaten but not beaten to the point that he would die they would beat him treat him beat him treat him so later, around June of 1906, the criminal decided that they have come up with a better way to deal with him, and that was to bury him alive. And this form of punishment have not been done in Morocco at that time for many, many years. So people were so excited to see what would happen. Monsieur that day did not know his fate. They went to get him. He thought it was his normal morning beatings. But now he now came out, saw crowds, people came from different places just to see him being walled up. So he was now pushed in the tomb. He now begged, he was struggling with the guards. So they, were, they pushed him into the tomb and one of the guards even gave him some water and bread. And he was now sealed up and left to die. People gathered around his tomb for days waiting to hear him take his last breath. On the third day, people that were closer to Masfiri's tomb said that all they could hear was moan and a few hours later they could not hear nothing so he was dead most people grumbled most people were actually disappointed because they wanted his suffering to be prolonged they wanted him to suffer for like a week before dying and after he stopped breathing everybody went back to their usual business as if nothing happened as if they have not buried someone alive so that is the story of the marrakesh akila in Morocco in the 1900s, Hajj Mohammed Mesiwi. Well, guys, that's all we have for today on African Crime Story. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our social media platforms. See you soon.